old folks, the old fisherman. Back with you once again. Hey, we've had a rough day today. Pulled in a little spot fixing to go home and I caught a couple with a daggone jig. Couldn't catch them on the bottom hardly with nothing. So I started reeling up a double jig rig. Two slider jigs and I caught a couple. We, uh, hey, I think we got a couple down there, but who knows? It really ain't showing up, but I'm getting a couple bites. I just caught two at a time. And up, there was another bite. Hey, they hitting the slider rig about every time I pull it up. I don't catch them every time. I miss a lot of them. But uh, about every time I reel it up, one takes it. There he is. There he is. Just reeling it up. It's the only way I can catch them, it looks like, today. And uh, hey, medium-sized perch. Use they blue chartreuse with a lid uh, on it. In between the two slider jigs, and I got a, uh, a white, a white co colored, white silver one at the top. Is what we use. And uh, hey, that's the only thing we catch them on. And they're not wanting to bite anything else. And I really don't even see the fish down there, but I'm catching them. So they're laying right on the bottom and running up to get it. Is what they're doing. <coughs> Glad y'all could be with the old fishermen. We've been struggling all day. Had a bad day. We don't have 20 feet by 20 feet. Uh, and it's time to go home. But uh, we pull in here, and now I'm catching a couple on this double rig. You see it. Uh, they're not monsters, but they're keepable, some of them. Some of them are, some of them ain't. Uh, some of them are, some of them ain't. Slider jigs, they're hitting a little tiny shad. And that's why I think they hit the slider jig. And uh, they really want it pulling up. That's what they want. So that's what they're going to get. We're going to give them a double rig with a spinning rod is what we're doing. And uh, seems like they want to take it. A few down there. Beat the boat. Keep them stirred up. And hope we can get a couple. What we're going to do. Lake Mana selling love and life. Hey, and there he is. There he is. They are, uh, I think what it is, they're just not the jumbo magnum. They are uh, kind of a small bunch, a class of small ones out there. And, uh, but anyhow, hey, it's a little action. I've been struggling. I haven't caught a bass or a catfish today. I've been struggling, big time. Bad day for the old fisherman. But now I'm getting bites. And it's funny, I'm not even seeing them on the fish finder. I was on them earlier, thick as hair on the dog's back and I couldn't catch them. But uh, they definitely want this thing reeling up. That's the way they want it. Y'all can see that. Reeling up is the way they want it. It's because the, that's a nice one. Uh, hey, that's a jumbo magnum right there. It's because the water temperature is not too really cold yet. The colder it gets, the more I can catch them with the other stuff right on the bottom. Right now, the water temperature just ain't that cold. And uh, we got to uh, fix this jig. This thing here ain't working right. Not working right. All right. I tell you, I done tried everything I knew to try today. I even tried metals. Uh, caught a couple of bitty ones on metals. They didn't want them. Jokers just ain't been feeding right. They're going a little spurts of feeding. Hopefully we can get these stay here a little bit. I got it on spot lock, and the boat's holding me right on spot. And all I'm doing is dropping to the bottom and reeling it up. That's all, and that's the only way I can seem to catch them. I'll be honest with you, the only way you can catch them see that and that's what we doing hey that ain't a bad one he ain't a bad one so maybe after all the struggles maybe we done found a couple right now that'll bite he got my other jig tore up I got to get another jig put on him that broke This one don't look real good. Hey, we gonna put him on. We gonna put him on 
Drop it to the bottom where the big boys lie. Hey, we use a braided line on this. We got an H2O rod, H2O Express spinning rod, six to 12 pound test, one eighth to uh, three eighths ounce lure. And I got a, a braid equivalent to about four pound test on here as far as the size wise. I think it's like 15 pound test braid, something like that. And I got a little bit of monofilament at, right at the bottom. Oh, they bite. I tell you, with that braid, you can really feel them bite. Drop it down, reel it up. That's all we got to do. One bump to them, it didn't take it. Uh oh, what happened? Something happened. Got the jig broke off. Dog gone in and took me in my jig off. I got to put another jig on. We got to hunt another jig. Dog gone it. There's nothing right here. Bite out. In fact, that's the last one. Now I got one more in that pack. Tell you what, I can't keep jigs. I'm buying jigs left and right. All right. Joe just slid up there and see if we can catch another on him. Crooked. That one's kind of crooked. Well, if he's gonna take that or not? It's kind of crooked. Look, Duck. We can give it a try. Hey, it's kind of crooked. Drop it down. Love my little box. That thing's cool. It's a uh, model number 4510 uh, Super Hatch Satchel. Love it. Got it from uh, Sports One Warehouse. I think it was about $14. Uh oh, we done knocked off spot lock. Call, no. I done knocked my spot lock off. I knocked myself off the fish. Talking. How in the world did that happen? I was on them too. Dad, blame it. I'll tell you what. I don't know why. I reckon I bumped it when I leaned over and knocked it off. I got to go back up here while that because I was on some fish. I really couldn't see them either. They weren't showing up. They were just bite. Oh, Lord, they was right there. They were just bite. They weren't really. You can't see them on the bottom. You wouldn't know they was there by the fish finder. That's very unusual. But you would not know these fish is here by the fish finder. They're all gone now. I ain't getting them back. I tell you, I got off of them. See if we can get them back under us. Beat the boat. Get them stirred up. I don't see them. Slick bottom, 30 foot right here. I think I was a little bit deeper than this. I think I was right off the side. I'm pull up on the hill. Hey, they biting it still. They bumping about every time you pull it up. It's just not the right size. Some of them might be. Get a good in a minute. Nothing that time. That ain't good. That ain't good. And we were on them fish there you go. Oh, Lord, I missed it. Dog, gone his time. We was on them fish good, too, and the dead gone spot lock went off. I wasn't paying attention. I'm drifting back. That ain't good. That ain't good at all. Oh, my. Up to the bottom where the big boys lie. They, boy, they hit it every time. But they just not take it. I think it's a little bit. Every time. Every time I get a bite. Now I'm starting to see a few stir up. While the gun didn't see any. Didn't get him that time, though. That ain't good. That's two pulls and no, nothing. That ain't good at all. Now I'm seeing some fish, do you? 
Fix say now, see if it's fish and I ain't getting no bite. There you go. Medium size, they ain't waffles, they medium size. All right, down this point, I'll take them aside. Been that kind of day. 12 o'clock or so, I got to go home in 30 minutes or so. That's my, probably my last spot. And I sure haven't caught anything on camera. Caught a few, not many. They bite good now, they just ain't the right size. I wish they were the bigger ones. The smaller, smaller version of what I need. Come here, boy. Come here, little baby. Go back and get big. I'll see you in about another year. I'll see you in another year, my friend. My wife's right over there working. Poor thing, it's about it's 12 hour days is killing her. I don't know what we're gonna do. She won't retire, she's too young to retire. She ain't got enough years to retire. She ain't old as me. Oh. If I was super rich, I reckon she could retire. And just fish with the old fishermen. Oh, don't it? We'd have a good time. You know, everything about money might be a good idea. Show would be nice to win the lottery. Look. Look at that. That's a, that's a good one. What? Hey, that, that's a little bit better, not much. But he's a little bit, oh, well. Yeah. I ain't caught so, no big ones all day. Even that little one's starting to feel good. All right, drop it back down. We catching some medium size. There ain't nothing to brag about, let me tell you. But there's plenty of them down there. And the funny thing is, you barely can see them. I can tell they're small because there's red showing up on the bottom instead of yellow. Yellow means thicker fish, means more fish, and bigger fish. Uh, if uh, the fish finder is separated with hooks, it means bigger fish. If they grouped up tight, it means smaller fish most of the time. Somebody asked me that on the show, could I tell the difference? You can't tell the difference with, uh, you can tell the difference more with stripers than you can uh, perch. Perch look like small stripers, all of them look about the same on the bottom. Hey, we catching some. We got a little action. Hey, that ain't too bad a fish. Now, that was a three-quarter pounder. Take it. Get a dog on old blue slider jig. What do you hear? Right here's where that spot lock comes in handy. Really handy. You ain't got to worry with it. And, it's, uh, uh, and uh, with a perch, you don't have to hold it in a 55-gallon drum area. That comes to you. Crappies is different. You got to put it right on them. There's a pile up down there. I don't know why I didn't catch one then, but there's a pile up down there. Whole bottom's covered. Whole bottom's covered. I'll tell you that right now. Hey, up. Oh, hit it way up high. They're coming up higher now. That's what they're doing. Might throw the three rig down there and see if they'll want to take it. Hey, oh, Lord. They hit and I'm just missing. I'm missing them on the slider jig. I ain't got nothing in the smallest fish with it, unless it's triple ripple. Hey, yeah. Uh, hey, yeah. Uh, little. 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 Oh, yeah, little. Thought he done broke off, but that's a little. You gotta throw him back. We got to throw him back. All right, drop it back out. We catch them. Hey, if they be a pound apiece, we'd be having a good time. Or be collecting some good mess of fish. Hey, but anything's better than nothing. We ain't caught nothing all day. I could not get them going. This is the most I've caught in a place all day long. They still biting a little bit. Look at that. Ah, look at that. What? The old fisherman's loving it. Now, that, that's a pretty nice one. But you know we ain't catching two at a time. For some reason, they kind of scattered out down there. They medium size scattered out. That's what they are. Medium size scattered out. 
Alright, drop them back down to where the big boys lie. Little spoon ain't really worked that good today. They want something swimming today. It ain't got cold enough yet, that little spoon right. I mean, you catch a few, that little spoon, it's got to be cold. This doggone running, uh, moving jig, though, swimming jig is working. I can tell you that, it's working. It is working. We got two at a time this time, I believe. Oh yeah, two at a time. Neither one of them super dogs, but hey, one of them might be a keeper. Might get a fillet out of that one. I started off with a spoon, then I went to the three rig, then I went to the double rig, and the double rig swimming it is about the only thing I can get them to bite today right, like I'm doing right here. They just don't want it jerking up now, they want it swimming. You ain't swimming it, you ain't gonna get up. They bite it about every time. They bite it just like old crappy, boom, when he hits it, boom, that's all he does. If you can watch the end of this rod, I don't know if you can see the end of that blue rod, you can see it twist. Now I got a spoon on my uh, bone daddy rod. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. Oh Lord, that's a good one now. What? That's a good one now. Nothing wrong with that one. Huh? There ain't nothing wrong with that one. Oh my. Oh my. Oh, we got two. Look at that. Two at a time. Hey, they're bigger than a bluegill brim. You got love that. They're bigger than a bluegill brim. Fry hole size, what these are. That's a perfect fry hole size. Cut that back fin out, the bottom fin out. Put you a notch, cut down a notch on each side, to, each side of them. And put cornmeal on them, skin on them. I like just cornmeal. If it's a filet, then you, you know, I like beer batter and stuff like that. But a skin on them. I like cornmeal, salt and pepper. That's what I like. That's that's the old timey way. That's what I like. A lot of people mix flour with them. Up oh, there, he hey, we got them going. They biting this doggone thing. Just ain't that many of them, or that big, but they biting it. Plenty of them. Plenty of them. Hey, we having a good time. We're making a little video, catching a bunch of little ones. Hope all of y'all have a good trick-or-treat night tonight. Stay safe. Don't do nothing crazy. Don't get in no trouble. And enjoy Halloween 2018. Oh, Lord, I tell you what. I, I got a bad ankle, people. If, it would, if, I, if I had to do something, I had to walk to do it, I couldn't do it. I can't stand up and I can't walk long. I got a football injured angle, ankle that is giving me the devil. I can hardly walk a hundred yards. I don't know what I'm gonna do about it. That joker's got arthritis so bad in it. When I played football, I kept springing it. I had to use high top shoes and I kept twisting it. And buddy, over the years, that thing has been bothering me for the longest. Now it's about twice size, stays twice size my other ankle. Swells up. I can't stay on it long. I go out and clean fish. It hurts so bad I can't only walk up the house after I get through standing that long. So I'm going to have to get me a dog on a, an old bar stool or something to clean fish with, I reckon now. Because I can't stand up like I used to. But uh, we catching these dogs on mid-sized little perch. They ain't nothing to them. Hey, we're going to throw most of them back. Oh, man. Up there you I fix say, oh man, I ain't getting a bite. But I did get a bite. Now that might be a little bit better. Oh yeah. That's a jumbo super dog supreme right there, buddy. That's a good pound perch. Alright. Pull it back out. So we got nothing. Time to go home, they start biting. That's the way it is. 
That's what happens. Sometimes it's about early in the morning, sometimes it's after lunch. And most of the time after lunch, I'm here to the house. All right, there's the bottle. There he is. See, we get a nut now, now on it. I don't know. No, ain't but one. Ain't but one. Medium size, they medium size perch. About like, look like what I was catching late Murray. What Late Murray, good eating size if you like them whole now. I'm telling you. Prime whole, that's the best size. That size is smaller. Any bigger than that, you need to fillet them and trim that dark meat out of them. A little strip ain't much, but it's a little strip of dark meat. Makes them better. They all right with it in, but it makes them better if you trim that out. That's my preference. It ain't everybody's preference. That's my preference. Oh, I can't believe I didn't get one then. Hey, yeah. Uh, hey, yeah. Uh, hey, yeah. Uh, oh, my. Hey, yes. Yeah. The jokers feel good on this little rod now. They feel good on this little rod. All right, throw them back down. So we can get them done. We got to catch them quick. We got to go. I got things to do at the house this afternoon. All right, drop it to the bottom where the big boys lie. Let's see if we catch a little boy. I cannot believe I really threw that and I get a bite. Cannot believe it. Uh oh, they done quit. Quit up another place and I moved back, got on a couple, now they quit here. They won't stay with you. They just won't stay with you. 34 foot of water around on the side of a drop, and I'm gonna try to call somebody. I ain't seen them come, brother. That ain't good. I'm gonna run them off. Done run them off. Show it the world. Hey, that was a bite. That was a bite. That's another bite. Dog, oh, going it. You're getting immune to me. They bumping it, but they ain't taking it. They bumping it, but they ain't taking it. There's a whole drove of them under there now. My goodness. Hey, he's hitting it. Hitting it again. There he is. I got him that time. A little one. A little one. I don't know. It might be bigger than I think. Unless I got two. I think I nothing come up and grab it. That's what happened. Oh, we got a bass. Little bass, look at that. Oh my. Huh. Look at that. Little bass. Oh my. He done tore up my doggone jig. A rascal. Tore up my doggone jig. I'll throw him back in a minute, but I ain't throwing him now. He tore my doggone jig up. Man. I got a hundred another jig. I think I see one laying right over here. I got one in here. There's a June bug, Mr. Crappy. Let's see if they'll take that. Just for the heck of it right quick. I haven't tried Mr. Crappy in a while. Probably won't. We're gonna give it a shot. A little bit bigger. Hey. Might catch a bigger fish. Who knows? Give it a shot. 
see if they'll take June Bug, Mr. Crafty. <sighs> All right, get it to the bottom. There's the bottom. Up, oh, one bumped it. Might not want bent, Mr. Crappy. A little big. A little big. They're bumping it, but they ain't taking it. They don't want Mr. Crappy. They're they hitting it, but they, they're too little to take it, is what it is. These size fish here are just too small for Mr. Crappy and the gut shrimp. And they ain't even hitting it. Let's see what's wrong with it. Uh, and Mr. Crappy ain't going to do it. We got to get Mr. Crappy off the... Tell you what, I got a triple ripple right here. Let's try it. Let's give it an experiment with it while we know it's fish. They might hit triple ripple even better. Might hit it better, might not hit it at all. Who knows? We fixed to find out, though, I can tell you that right now. I've caught a mini on a triple ripple, I can tell you that. We got a yellow um, slider down there, I need to try it. I used to catch a lot on the yellow and green. And this, this water got a little stain to it, not much, but a little bit up here. There he is. I bet you hit the triple rubble. Pretty nice one, too. Oh, yeah. No, he's on a slider, the white slider. He didn't hit the triple rubble. White slider. Got right, one more guy. They want that slider jig. They want that paddle jig. In the summertime, they'll take the triple ripple curly tail jig better. Seems like the fall and the winter, they want paddle jigs. A little key. We gotta throw that bass back too. Uh-oh, didn't get a bite that time. Got off of them again. They don't want the slider jig, I mean the uh, triple ripple. Right, there's a green slider. There you go. There you go. Little ones. Little ones. They ain't hitting the dog on triple ripple, I can tell you that. They ain't had the first bite on it. Taking it off. We taking it off. Too much wiggle. They want just a paddle tail wiggle. See if they take old green and, and, and yellow. I've caught a menu in on that. When I first started catching these perch over here with my rig, that's what I was using, that green and yellow. Eat the boat. Size. They're not the jumbos. They're the medium size. They'll be jumbo next year. Ain't jumbos this year. I don't know where the jumbos at. It ought to have been plenty of jumbo magnums up in this no fishing zone that nobody can touch. There ought to be a bunch of big ones in here. They, they do 90% of the uh, uh, 
laying up in that hot area, crampers and everything. So them jokers ought to be plenty of fish in here that can't be touched. You got a mile area for probably two miles long that can't be touched. Maybe three miles long. No fishing zone. No boat zone. Oh, there he is. There he is. That's a good one, too. See what he's on. See if he's on the white or the yellow. See if he's on the white or the yellow. He's on the white. That's a big one. Didn't hit the yellow. And that's the kind we're looking for right now. That's the kind we are looking for. 